I have two key points. One is that um, if you use spinal navigation for the average search and the average surgery that you do, reduce radiation exposure to the surgeon by amount of 10 to 5 fold and in the average you increase the accuracy of your screws which in the end again for the average surgeon makes a difference in your revision rates. My key points were basically that first of all with the freehand technique in experienced hands you have minimum exactly the same success rates in terms of precision of placing your pedicle screws and uh, that especially for complex spine surgery in children the amount of radiation you apply to the patient with navigation is about 50 to 100 fold which in my mind especially for these young children who then have a much higher risk of uh, developing malignancies is not justifiable. Um, I personally think that in experienced hands navigation does not really give you an advantage if you look at the precision and at the patient. It's truly different if you do minimally invasive surgery like uh, Professor Meyer pointed out and uh, you do this percutaneously because then there is a radiation issue for the surge which I did not cover in my talk but he of course uh, pointed out. I think because I made some points that were new to the audience, most probably, um, that especially when it came, comes to safety for the surgeon, because most of the uh, people in the audience would probably do the same type of surgery that he does, where the necessity for navigation is not so obvious. So I telling something from an, a world that is not known to them. So maybe this is the most important message that I could give. What was well taken is that uh, the radiation issue is significant for the patient. It's much less in fluoroscopy or freehand technique compared to CT navigation or navigation if you look at it in the whole. And um, also I would say um, that the precision of screw placement is similar in both groups if you have experienced surgeons. And this is also well backed up with literature. There are only four head-to-head -head studies that compared this and they did not find significant difference in terms of complications and revision rates. So I think this is something that's, uh, that was well taken. I would say in industrialized countries, uh, that's not an issue. Because you can have systems with around 100,000 euros or dollars that uh, fulfill all the purpose that you have. And is, if you consider what else you have in the OR, it's less than a fluoro. Um, and uh, being a neurosurgeon, you usually do have one as a given. So you can use it for either spinal or cranial. So in industrial con industrialized countries, it's not an issue. For second or third world countries, it is. But the development of this will be going on, and um, there will be devices like uh, single-use miniature navigation devices that uh, can be afforded by basically everybody in about five to eight years. So during the discussion, we, we talked about the point of costs, uh, and right now with the CT-based navigation, I think we have relatively high radiation, we have relatively high costs, and I completely agree that we have to work on, on systems navigation systems that are much cheaper but as precise or even more precise than what we have right now. Uh, I said during the discussion I think we probably will go even in deformity surgery at some point we will go the way that we put in our screws freehand by we will have them checked by OR navigation or OR navigation uh, intraoperatively to make sure that, that we are indeed safe. So it's sort of a backup of, uh, of a freehand technique. But I think it's important to, uh, to work on cheaper systems which are easy to use, 
uh, and, uh, uh, and available for the majority of spice users. I had the same discussion 27 years ago when it came to cranial surgery and navigation. The same things were brought forward that there's an issue of people not being able to do craniotomies without and uh, they are less well trained than before. It's all proven wrong. So, and it took about 20 years uh, until that was given in, in cranial surgery and it will take another 10 because it's going on for 10 years till it will be in spinal surgery. This is, I'm sure about this.